In this video, I'll show you how to take a commission from each successful booking. To get the necessary functionality, we need to install the HivePress Marketplace extension. Please note that this extension is already included with the Rental Hive theme and you don't have to purchase it separately. It will be included in your purchase email as a separate file. To install it, go to the Plugins, Add New section and click on the Upload Plugin button. Select the zip file to upload and proceed by installing and activating it. Once the Marketplace extension is installed, there are some new settings in the HivePress Settings section. Let's check them and start with the listing tab. I recommend taking a look at this feature, since you can allow hosts to add price extras. It may be really useful. For example, if you are running a real estate booking website, you can allow hosts to offer not only their accommodations, but some other extra services like an airport transfer or breakfast, etc. Here is one more cool feature – discounts. You can allow hosts to set discounts depending on the number of booked days. For example, they can set a 20% discount for bookings that are longer than 10 days. If a customer chooses a booking period longer than 10 days, the discount will be applied automatically. Now, let's move to the Host tab. Here, you can set the commission rate. In other words, set a certain percentage that will be charged on every booking. I'll set 10%. Additionally, you can set a fixed fee for every booking. Please note that you can use either a commission or a fixed fee, or even both at the same time. For example, you can set $2 and hosts will be charged 10% and $2 for every successful booking. With this option, you can include or not include taxes in the host's balance. Also, you can add a custom fee for users, but in that case it's better to disable this feature, otherwise this fee will be included in the host's balance. Once you set the commission rate, click on the Save Changes button. Please note that in the host section it's possible to set a custom commission rate and fee for each vendor. For example, I'll choose this vendor and here I can set a custom commission rate and a custom commission fee. Ok, now let's come back to the HivePress settings section and go to the bookings tab. Here. I recommend taking a look at the Variable Prices feature. Check this option if you want to allow vendors to set different prices for specific date ranges. For example, if you rent out vacation houses, you can charge higher prices during the summer season and lower prices during the winter. Now, let's check the Orders tab. Any order is basically a payment receipt linked to each paid booking. Within this tab, I only recommend checking the Disputes option. It allows users to notify the platform admins if there is something wrong with the booking. Finally, in the Payouts tab, you can allow hosts to request payouts of their earnings. Also, you can set a minimum payout amount. In that case, hosts will have to reach this balance before they can request a payout. In the case at hand, I'll set $100. Keep in mind that by default all payout requests are processed manually, but you can also select and set up Stripe Connect to enable automated payouts. In that case, you'll also have to add the Stripe Connect API credentials in the integrations tab. Alright, now it's time to book a listing to check how everything works. To do that, I'll go to the website and pick any of the previously added listings. Let it be this one. Now I have to pick some booking dates and click on the Book Now button. Here is a confirmation form as usual. Since everything is correct, I can simply click on the Proceed to Payment button. And here it is, a checkout page where I can enter all the billing information and make a payment. Let's briefly fill in all the details.
That's it! Now we can check the host's balance in the user dashboard. As you can see, here is the current balance and the profit is 10% and $2 lower than the revenue, since the marketplace commission and fee that I have set previously were already taken. Please note that by default vendors get the payment only after the booking ends. But for the sake of this tutorial I have manually changed the order status to complete it behind the scenes, just to show you how everything works. In the next video I'll show you how vendors can easily request payouts. See you in a minute!